From 48 seconds to a minute and one second, this is the beginning of my solo on Pack of Lies. It's an original piece of mine. And you'll notice a lot of use of the blues scale. Now, blues scales are something that are so important for every jazz player to have. And the reason is, is that blues is the beginning of jazz, as it is for rock. It's the mother of both of these styles of music, and it's very important to reference it. It really grounds your playing. And particularly in this case, which is a fast bebop piece, when I start my solo with the blues and reference it throughout my solo, it really anchors the sound because the, some of the lines get very complicated and I'm doing some fast compound phrases. But I start off with a... And you can't go wrong with the blues. It never sounds bad to play the blues. And I want to make a comment for those of you rock players that may be tuning into this course, that one of the most important things you have to remember is that the blues scale is not the pentatonic scale. Sometimes people refer to them interchangeably, but the blues scale has that flat five. <laughs> And that note is really the important note in the blues scale, which you don't have in the pentatonic scale. Here's the D minor pentatonic scale. Whereas the blues scale has this. There's that flat five. And a lot of rock players will bend to that note, to the flat five. So they're putting it in uh, consciously or unconsciously. They are putting that scale, I should say consciously or subconsciously, uh, putting that note in. But um, it's very good to practice your scale that way. Add it to all of your shapes of the pentatonic scale. Add that blues tone. Another thing that a lot of guitar players do in the blues scale is they also add a half step between the seven and the eighth degree. So it's something like this. Now, technically, that C sharp is not part of the blues scale, but so many guitar players use it, it's become common usage, and you get, you get patterns and licks like this. And so it's a very common thing. So half step between four and five, half step between seven and eight. Anyway, I use this very liberally sprinkled throughout my solo, and I think you'll find, and so does the bassist, by the way, when Chris solos in this piece, he uses a lot of the blues scale. Again, it always sounds great to play the blues, and you'll find that um, I think for in expanding your jazz playing, when you come back to the blues in the context of a, of a solo of a piece that you're working on, it really will anchor your sound.